Out of the 150 ski resorts that have been operated in the state of Colorado, only 32 are still open today. Some of these abandoned ski resorts simply closed due to lack of funding, while others have had a much darker history. Berthout Pass was once one of the most popular ski areas in the state of Colorado. The Berthout Pass ski area is legendary for being the first place to install a chairlift, had the first multi-mountain ski pass, and was even the first ski area to allow snowboarders. Berthout was growing so quickly that another ski destination opened nearby to alleviate some of the traffic coming to the area known as Winter Park. Over the next couple decades, locals began preferring Winter Park over Berthoud as Winter Park had the finances to invest in higher tech lifts and terrain access. But Berthoud wasn't going to let their neighbor to the north overtake them that easily. The larger corporation Timberline Mountain Incorporated bought Berthoud and rebranded the name to be known as Timberline. During the first year of operation under this new man, management, the only two-person chairlift malfunctioned where a customer got hurt and the National Park Service mandated the ski area to close down their only lift. Timberline then sold the ski area to several other investors who would buy and sell the resort for the coming years, trying to build up the resort but never able to match their larger competitors along Colorado's I-70. Berthout eventually marketed itself as an experts-only ski area where they just provided cat skiing, whereas Snow Groomer would take advanced skiers up the mountain. However, Berthoud found that this demographic wasn't large enough to sustain over the course of multiple seasons. Berthoud Pass finally closed for good in 2003, but the result of the next abandoned ski area was the result of a far more tragic accident. Indian Head Ski Area was opened in 1963 at the Geneva Basin area in Colorado, serviced by two chairlifts. Shortly after their opening, two other chairlifts were installed to provide access to higher bowl skiing and alpine terrain. Indian Head was looking like it was going to be a popular Colorado ski destination thanks to the diversity of their terrain, from steep bowl skiing to family-friendly green runs. Lift tickets also started out at just $3.50, which was one of the cheapest lift tickets in the country. Lift tickets may have been too cheap, however, as much of their technology was falling behind the other popular ski areas. This cheap approach to skiing ended up coming to haunt Indian Head, as in 1984, a chairlift fell off a cable, unfortunately ending fatally for a skier. The state of Colorado then forced the ski area to close under the current ownership. Between 1984 and 1992, multiple groups tried reopening Geneva Basin, but in 1993, the U.S. Forest Service burned down the ski lodge here, officially putting an end to the Geneva Basin ski area. But the story of the next resort is about an abandoned ski resort that may actually revive itself as one of Colorado's next top ski destinations. Kuchara Mountain Resort was open from 1981 to 2000 in southern Colorado. This area is very remote and more difficult to access than the typical family resorts off Colorado's I-70. This southern location ended up giving way to slightly warmer temperatures in the late 1900s, where Kuchara didn't have any snow machines to make up for their lackluster snowfall. Because Kuchara wasn't getting much snow and didn't have the finances to afford these snow machines, they were forced to close, but but this didn't mark the end of Kuchara as skiers and riders know it. Ever since 2017, Kuchara has been fundraising, looking to reopen with new snowmaking technology. Their target was to be back open in 2021, but fundraising setbacks still haven't allowed the resort to open. However, Kuchara's website states that while Lift 4 is still not open, you can come earn your turns to access the trails within Kuchara Mountain Park and the 230 acres with 1,500 feet of vertical on United States Force service land. Kuchara is definitely looking to open for good sooner rather than later, and they're only a couple big donors away from doing so. While it's obvious most skiers haven't heard of these abandoned resorts, what's more surprising is most skiers and riders haven't heard of these extremely underrated ski resorts in North America. These are some of the best spots to ski in the world, and you can check out the 10 best underrated resorts in this video right here.